Hey, 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 my name is Rito and I'm building a Shopify store. I'm scaling a Shopify store from uh, scratch in this Bizathon number four. <laughs> this is a different intro from the one we had in Bizathon three. So we're scaling a Shopify store in Bizathon number four. And this video right here is going to go over shout marketing and how you can find influencers who you can who can actually promote your Shopify products and generate sales from you uh, for you. And we'll actually be going inside my phone right here and we'll be diving into some awesome, awesome concepts. I'm really excited to share all of this with you. But before we begin that session here's something we need to do all right so we have covered just so so many concepts we have gotten a lot of people who have started getting sales using the methods that i've taught in bizathon number three and four so if you've missed any session here's what you need to do let me share my screen with you all right so just head over to the flying start online channel just let me just make sure everything is fine yeah so you just head over to the flying start online youtube channel go to the videos tab right here and you should be able to see all the videos straight up like bizathon four is going on right now we also have bizathon three all the videos right here start from day number one if you're absolutely new to this literally just start from this video right here and then binge watch the entire series and you'll have your store up and ready you'll have your entire you'll have sales coming and you'll have your facebook page ready you'll have ads set up you'll have sales coming and literally so uh it's pretty awesome here uh, so don't miss any of these sessions and Bizathon 4 is all about scaling that store. So once you've got your store set up, then you can start scaling. And by the way, the first three videos of, uh, of Bizathon number four, which was part one, part two and part three are all beginner tutorials. So these are going to take you through these amazing concepts about how to get started even if you're a beginner. By the way, we also have all this amazing content here for you on flyingstartonline.com where we publish the summaries and the recordings and all the notes that were taken during each session, each episode. As you can see right here, they're all available in the chronological order. So if you head over to the Academy tab right here, you will be able to see episode three, episode two, episode one, all of these here. So let me just take you through one of these. So if you go to episode number one, as you can see, the recording is published right here. All the, all the summaries of whatever we covered in that session is all covered right here by our awesome, awesome, uh, copywriter David Aston, who's doing a fabulous job with creating these summaries. So make sure you watch these as well. You read these as well in, along with uh, watching the videos. And by the way, guys, if you keep if you keep scrolling, you'll also be able to see all the Bizathon 3 recordings also. All right. So we have we have all these published here. Let's get started with this. We we have Rudy in the live chat who says, I got 10 sales yesterday to earn $150 with $62 ad spend. That is amazing, guys. All right, so he used purchase as conversion $5 a day and sometimes $10 a day. All right, awesome, guys. So he's following that concept that I taught inside this uh, Shopify beginner tutorial part three. So this is about those $5 ad sets. So you can watch that as well. All right, so let's get started with Instagram influencer marketing. I just want to explain to you how that entire shout strategy thingy works so let me just do this right here so we're going to do all about let's let me let me just talk about how to find influencers all right finding influencers so you've got you've got several ways in which you can find influencers who want to promote your product but before we actually get into that i want to talk to you about why this strategy actually works all right so you have to think of it like this so people are browsing ig on their phone right they're browsing instagram on their phone they see an image or a video comes up and here here's a few things you have to note down if that image or a video is unique and if it's for a unique product right so they're automatically interested. Why? Because the person who shared this, they basically follow that person. That's why it's uh, showing up in their feed. So there's that level of trust. All right. Now, here's the thing. Influencers work because they're pretty much like mini celebrities. All right. They're mini celebrities in a niche. Listen, guys, influencer marketing has been going on for years for decades like people like how many celebrities have you seen endorsing different products right the only difference is earlier only the big brands had access to those celebrities now we have access to our mini celebrities who are niche based 
influencers inside um, any niche and they can promote your Shopify products. How awesome is that? So the power is in your hands. So make sure you're using that power wisely. All right. So here coming back to the concept. So because there are many celebrities inside these niche. So if a person who's following a, an influencer sees their post come up with a unique product, it can be an image, it can be a video, it can be any of them. And they know they already trust the guy, right? They follow the guy, they've seen a lot of uh, their posts. So they already know that this guy is like a stand up person. So when they are promoting a product, then they are interested. All right. Now, of course, you won't get ridiculous conversion rates, not always. But if it's a unique product that they haven't seen before, if the image and the video, whatever you're using to promote that unique product comes up interesting. If it's unique, if it's interesting, if it hooks their attention, then you've got a higher chance of making a huge profit on your spend. Now, here's the thing. What can you expect to pay for for these kind of ads, right? So of course, it all depends on the number of followers that that uh, influencer has, you're going to target people who have anywhere between 10,000 to 1 million followers. All right. Now, of course, you can go, you can go like, you also have influencers who have like five, six million reach as well. So you can do those as well. But there are a few rules when it comes to sorting and finding influencers. And I'll be going over all of these concepts inside this video. All right. Now, how much can now what you're looking for is actual real account. So you've, you're going to find because Instagram is a social platform, you have a lot of fakers out there. All right, so you've got a lot of fake people who are just who have just bought followers, and they just uh, sell ads. So they you won't make any return off of this. But there's a really interesting way of finding out whether an Instagram profile is real or fake. So here's my golden rule. All right, you want to look for about four to 5% engagement. So if your influencer gets a four to 5% like ratio, on their posts, then that's pretty good. All right. So here's here's the thing. So if an influencer has like 100k followers, all right, if they post something and they get anywhere between 4000 to 5000 likes, then you know, for a fact, and and this has to happen multiple times, not just on one or two posts, but it has to happen regularly on all their latest posts. So when you see four to 5000 uh, people liking their posts and commenting as well. So then you know that that influencer is real. That is how you protect your investment. All right, guys. So 100k, four to 5,000, of course, this goes, if, if it's 10k, then you're looking for about 400 to 500. So these are all likes, by the way, all right? I'm talking about likes right here. So you're looking for, this, this is your going to be a filtering mechanism so that you don't get, you don't pay money to somebody who's less, somebody who's just built their profile uh, for selling ads and they've just bought their followers. You know, you get a lot of sneaky people who just try to navigate the system and they just, we, we're gonna catch them. We're gonna catch them, right? All right, so next up, so there are a few things we need to do in order to get these things started off. So I'm going to go over all of these things. So there are a few tools that you need to use. The first tool I'll be showing you is called Hyper. So you've got Hyper Brands, and this is what we'll be using. Um, this helps us in finding key, like influencers based off of keywords. Uh, the second one is, of course, Social Blade. It's a very popular tool for all sorts of uh, influencer research, not just Instagram, but also YouTube, Twitter, and all these other places. So Social Blade is where we can literally just enter a username of an influencer and find out all sorts of interesting data about them. All right. So these are the two places where we can actually research our influencers. But here's an important thing right here. My favorite is just manual searching seriously. And I'll be doing that manual searching thing on my phone. So what we'll be doing is literally just opening up the Instagram app and finding influencers using some hashtags and keywords. And then I'll show you some awesome ways to find other influencers as well, making your life a whole lot easier. Inside this video, I'll also be giving you the blueprint for communicating with these influencers. All right, so a lot of things to be covered here. Let's get cracking. All right, so let's get into this. So I'm going to literally just save this entire thing right here. Let's call this 4-2. All right, boom, done. So first off, let me take you through each of these concepts. Now, before we get started, of course, you guys want to see the results, right? So check this out. Today has been a very good day for us. We've spent about 100 bucks so far. Uh, we're going to end up with about 150 spent later in the day. But we've done about $365 in sales, a huge ROAS of 3.73 as you can see right here. So we are uh, killing it today. We, we've generated about 150 to 
160 dollars in profit like this is like pure profit after uh, your uh, like product cost and shipping and all of these things now uh, total we have done about 12,500 so far and we are looking good people we're looking good all right so let me take you through uh social blade right now so social blade is uh is a place where you can literally just enter a username and find out people um it just go to literally just go to socialblade.com and you can enter any um influencer here you can literally just enter flying start online and you'll be able to see my profile come up here as well um now you also have hyperbrands.com. You can sign up for a free account. But for hyperbrands, you have to remember one thing that uh, not a lot of people, like, you don't get a lot of searches for that like free plan. You only get about 10, 20 searches. So you can literally just enter a target right here. So if you want to find out, let's say wedding based celebrities, so literally just type in any keyword here. Um, I'm just going to type in a wedding right here. It's going to show me all the celebrities here. So as you can see, we can do a total of 100 searches so pretty less, but they give you a lot of these interesting data, right? So they'll show you all their uh, stats right here. They'll show you the tags that their this uh, profile is associated with. You can literally just click on any profile and then you can check them out. All right. So let me just try and find this out. Let's do ju -ju 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 -ju. let's check out DIY styles. All right. So inside DIY styles, they'll show you all sorts of data about them, like where their audience is from. And guys, you want primary US audience, right? So if an Instagram profile has primarily US audience, that's when you know your like budget is going to be spent wisely. You got a lot of people who have just got like useless profiles. Uh, so don't get stuck with that. So you also have all the age, ethnicity, gender, all of that covered. So this is primarily a female based uh, Instagram following. So you can uh, target any female based products right here. You also have um, their relative influence. They show you the reach, engagement, and amplification. So they've got a pretty good engagement right here, right? So they are a good person. Now, of course, not all of these people do uh, the uh, like do shout outs for you, but um, it it just you can just literally just send them a direct message and then uh, you can get in touch with them if you want to promote any wedding or any of that related products. All right. So next up, I want to show you a cool little thing called um, um, this snapped all right so this is basically what this app does is that it creates like uh, it literally takes your posts from instagram and creates a shoppable interface where instagram people can literally just go and shop so here's how this thing works you connect to instagram all right then you link your images with your products on shopify then what this does is it creates these galleries directly on your store or you can copy a personalized URL to a snapped page. So that snapped page is going to have those images, but these are going to be shoppable images. Now people can literally place orders using that process and then all of that will be credited to your Shopify store, right? So it's pretty interesting. I want to give it a shot. So let's just click on get so that we can get this entire thingy right here. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to install the app. All right, sign in with Instagram. Let's do this. All right, commonpanda.com is done. Let's authorize this app. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's choose this. Let me just choose this support at commonpanda.com. Where do you sell online? I sell on Shopify. Finish. All right, so it's imported all of my media right here. As you can see, it's imported all the media. So I'm going to save this right here. Let me close this. So move between added maybe and remove to remove images. All right, next. Adding buy buttons. So this removes an item, this adds an item. All right, cool. All right, so this is going to be our snapped URL. All right, awesome. We can also install the conversion code on the thank you page so that we can track where the sales came from. All right, awesome. So as you can see, six have been added now. For example, this one, right? So I can literally just add product links to this box right here. So let me just find out the doggo. Let me find out the doggo. All right, so doggo is done. So as you can see right here, show hotspots, boom, click on save and 
John, people, John, this is John. All right, so if we actually click on this, so let me just take you to the profile of Snap. Let me just take you to commonpanda.com. All right, so this is our common panda page right here. As you can see, if somebody like hovers over this, they can literally just click on this. They'll be taken to the product page. They can click on buy right here, right? So if they click on buy, they'll be taken to the... Um, uh, the actual product page and they can then add to cart and then finish the purchase, right? So pretty awesome stuff right here. Um, this is an interesting thing which you can use to actually, so for example, if I wanted to add the glowing panda right here, I would literally just click on this and then let me just hold on. So this is not where I do this. I go to this one. I go to add product link. I just literally just select the glowing panda night lamp, click save. Kaboom, done. So even this is a product now. All right, so awesome. So this is something interesting that you can try out and then you can literally just link out to this snapped username right here, snap.com forward slash commonpanda.com. You can copy this link and then you can paste it on your profile. So right here, for example, I can literally just click on edit profile inside my Instagram and I'm going to paste this website URL right here. Click on submit, profile has been saved. Boom. All right. So if you click on re refresh right here, snap.com. All right. Awesome. So now we have our snap set up properly. We also have our, uh, I showed you hyper. I showed you, showed you social blade. Now here's an interesting way in which you can do your research. I definitely recommend keyword based research. Let's say you want to sell Panda related products. So we literally just search for, let me just take you to, let's say Insta Panda cool is a profile right here. You want to go to social blade. You want to copy the profile URL right here, which is instagram.com forward slash. So this thing thing right here. This is the username of the person. You copy this thing. Then you paste it inside a social blade. You click on search and it shows you this thing right here. You can literally just go here and see their date based progress on the, whether they're adding or deleting followers. So as you can see, this is a pretty active profile right here. And uh, yeah, so they post regularly, as you can see, uh, two, one, 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 three, one, one, four. So they're posting regularly. They are getting um, like, like they are adding and removing followers. So it's pretty active right here. And of course, you'll be able to see more details about this inside the Instagram app. All right, so we are going to dive inside my phone right here. So let's just do that so that I can uh, share all sorts of like these awesome things with you. All right, so let's just go to Instagram. So I'm going to share my I'm going to share this with you right here. So I'm actually on my phone and you can see right here. This is uh, basically you can see me and you can also see the profile right here. Let me just refresh this so that as you can see the snapped link comes up. If somebody clicks on this, so the snapped page should come up right here. All right. So it makes things a lot more shoppable as you can see. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So you can see right here. So if it's, if somebody clicks on this, they can literally just click on this page right here. They can click on buy. Then they're taken to, they are taken to, they're taken to what? They're taken to common panda. All right. So where they can buy the product. I'm pretty sure they can be, there, there's probably a better integration than this also. I'm going to check out the settings of snapped inside Shopify and just check that out. All right. So let's dive into this thing. So, so that I can show you how to set this up. So first of course, you want to make sure that your profile picture is on point. All right. The next thing you want to do is set up your like uh, description, as you can see the bio and, uh, it basically says best deals at Common Panda and a one line and then a link. That's what you want. And you want this to be a business profile. The way you do that is by going to your settings. So if I click on that settings, you, you see the gear icon right here. So I click on that. It's going to take me right here. And as you can see, this is a business settings. It um, this, this, If it's not a business account already, there's going to be a link to convert it into a business account. Again, it's completely free right here. You want that. If you don't have a, a, a profile set up, just click on add account and then you can set up a new profile as well. So I'm going to take you back right here. The settings are pretty basic. You just want sure uh, you, you have a few posts inside your uh, uh, inside your uh, inside a profile. You want to have a bio. You want to have your... Uh, you want to have your profile set up properly. All right. So next up, 
Let's uh, go to each of these things. So on the home page right here is where you of course see your entire feed as you can see. Whoever I follow, I can see their entire posts. As you can see, I can also see some ads right here. So whenever I like an ad, I literally just click on this so that it's saved to my collection so that I can look back at it later. All right, so yeah, this is also competitive spying people. All right, so as you can see here, um, here you can see your entire feed. Now to access your direct messages, you see the top right, you see the like the um, paper aeroplane kind of an icon. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see your direct feed. So I'll be taking you to that as well. Uh, I'll be showing you an interaction that I had. I'll be giving you the entire formula for finding those people. Now, of course you can find people using hashtags. So what you want to do is just click on search right here. You want to enter, let's say, Panda. All right. So we, if we search for Panda, so it's going to show you hashtag Panda. All right. So let me search for hashtag Panda. So what's going to happen is going to show you some top posts, of course. And just by looking at these top posts, you can just go to their profiles. So as you can see, Adventure World Panda. And uh, yeah, so we have this Adventure World Panda right here. This is somebody we can contact. And literally to send somebody a message, we can click here. And uh, hold on, we have to click here. And then we have to click on send message. All right, now you want to find related profiles. This little button, the, the little arrow is the best thing. It shows you suggestions. So it will keep showing you a lot of suggestions where you can find a lot more similar profiles. All right, let's see, let's see Panda Mania. All right, so you can see this is probably another in Instagram influencer because they already have a link to Panda shirts or they might have their own store. We never know, but you can always contact them and find out, of course. So you click here, you click on send message and then you can send them a message. Now what message you're going to send them is going to be interesting and I'll be showing you all of that in just a bit all right so next up I want to show you I want to show you some other profiles right here let's go back here let's look at this one so this is panda mark so let's look at panda mark right here what no no I want to go to your profile all right panda mark so Panda mark looks interesting. So now here's the thing. If you want to find out whether the person is actually genuine or not, you see 93K followers. So we want about four or 5,000 uh, likes on each of them or four or 5,000 views in the case of videos. As you can see, this is uh, gotten that many views, 7,000 views, so pretty good, right? So they do get uh, pretty good engagement. So this is somebody who we can actually contact. Now let's find out some more people right here. Let me show you some other awesome ways. So when you search for a hashtag, right? So you can search for anything. Let's search for Panda love or something. All right, Panda, let's do hashtag. Let's do hashtag Panda. Panda love. Panda lovers, all right, so let's do panda lovers. All right, so now you get all these related hashtags that come at the top, you see them related? Cute panda, love panda, my baby bunny, so cute, my bunny. So if you, if you click on, let's say cute panda, you're going to see a lot more pro, like profiles and posts come up. So you see this one, this is another new one. This is B sand panda. We got another one, which is this one, which is happy panda land. So this is how you keep finding like more and more people, right? Uh, who you can contact and then send a message out to. It literally is just, just you, you keep browsing. You can literally do this for hours and keep finding hundreds and hundreds of people. And once you find a person, you literally just send them a message. Now, what do you send in the message? How do you get in touch with them? This is what I'm going to cover. Now, before you send them a message, you also want to do one thing. You want to take their username. As you can see, this is happy underscore panda land at the top right here. You want to enter this into social blade. Uh, and find out if this is actually a genuine profile. Um, the way you find out if it's a genuine profile is that if you see activity, like they are adding regular media, um, they have their followers going up and down, of course, every day, uh, like, generally you want their followers to always be going up. That's how you know that this is an absolutely genuine profile. But then, yeah, there are several other ways. You, of course, have hyper brands. You can literally just uh, go back here and enter the uh, username of the person and then search for them. All right, so you can literally just search for people here um, by name. All right, and then you can uh, look at their entire detailed profile. So there are all of these interesting ways to do that. Oh, you were not able to see my screen. All right, so this is what I was showing. Basically, you go to Hyper, just click on search, and then you can search by influencer name, or you can go to um, Social Blade and then search using their uh, like username and find out more about that influencer. All right, so let's dive into this one now. 
All right. So how do you send a message? How do you get in touch with them? All right. So here's what you do. So uh, first off, I hope you understood the concept about hashtags, related hashtags. And literally, you can just keep clicking on related hashtags. You'll find even more hashtags. All right. So if let me just take you through some examples. Like you can literally go down a rabbit hole and it's a it's a never ending rabbit hole. All right. So you click on panda lover. You have panda love. I love pandas. Panda cute. Panda bear. All right. If you click on panda bear, you got pandas, panda love, panda cub, panda swag. Let's click on panda swag. So like literally so, so many hashtags just keep coming up and so, so many posts keep coming up. And then you can like literally just click on any of the top posts and find out, uh, find out like if that person is an inf like influencer or not based on their following and then uh, just basically contact them. Now, how do you contact them? Basically, the way you contact them is just go to your home screen or of course, you, you click on that send message icon that I showed earlier. So I want to show you how you can access your direct messages. First of all, let me just make sure I don't uh, show you any sensitive information. So I'm just going to load this up right here. All right. All right, so I've loaded this up. Let me show this to you. So what is the kind of message you want to send them? So this is an influencer I actually contacted, Insta Panda Cool. All right, so uh, I have this noted this down inside my notes app. All right, this entire text. And literally, I just copy and paste, copy and paste and send it out to them. Now, of course, you want to find out their email address also, if possible of this Instagram influencer and basically just send them a direct email. That also works because like, um, you don't want to send a lot of direct messages using the app because then uh, Instagram feels like you're doing something shady and they can block your account. So you want to keep that limited to about, I would say about 10 messages every half an hour. That should be fine. All right, uh, 10 new messages, of course. Now, this is the kind of thing you can go for. So, hey, I'm a panda loving entrepreneur and I recently launched my online store where one of my best selling products is a really cute panda piggy bank. Would you be willing to share a video post on your channel of that product and tag the product link in your profile? If so, I'm happy to compensate via PayPal. Please let me know ASAP. Love and hugs, Rito. So You want to keep it genuine. You want to keep it friendly. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's a really simple kind of uh, message. And this, the, as you can see, they... Um, they message back. First of all, we wish you best of luck. We do a lot of collaboration. Our pricing is 20 euro. That includes one post and link in bio for one day. All right. During a promo day, we guarantee you will be the only one. So your visibility will be more and our audience won't be bored. So I was like, thank you for getting back since we're looking to partner and in the long term. So this is how the negotiating starts. All right. Since we're looking to partner for the long term and we have several products in the pipeline, would you guys be willing to turn down the price to 15 euros for this post? If it goes well, I'll be happy to do 20 euros for future posts. They'll be like, all right, sure, we can give a trial for you. Normally we are booked for today, but I didn't hear back from them. So we can go today as well. So they sent records across the PayPal information. Then I was like, hey, uh, he was like, can you send the picture caption and links? I was like, uh, give me five minutes. I'll send over the video caption and link I sent over the link now regarding the link it's really tricky because you want to be able to track your sales so the one way of course is to send them a bitly link now the way you set up this bitly link is going to be interesting and this is what I'll be covering in one of the future videos in one of the future episodes so stay tuned for that so you send them a bitly link and then uh, with the product uh, and then you also have sent them a caption and uh, I basically told him you already have all the panda related hashtags, you can use them. Uh, I also sent him a link to the Dropbox of the video right here. Uh, I sent over the payment and then I just basically said, let's rock and roll. So he was like working on it. Uh, then he also asked to upload the video to the profile, which I did. So he was like, my only concern is I made a promo with this item two days ago and the price was 15. So I was like, um, uh, fine. So he actually sent over screenshots where I did, where he had done a similar promo. So you're going, going to, of course, find those people. But this also showed me that he also gets a lot of engagement, right? So 1,400 likes, uh, um, like 46,000 reach, 39 comments, 109 saved. So a lot of engagement on his posts. So, um, but he was like, uh, these are old promos, but our customer was happy. So they became a regular customer. So like, awesome. So he sent, he also sent over the hashtags, right? He sent over all these amazing hashtags that I could use. It was like, you keep it too. I was like, awesome. Thank you. So then, um, uh, then he sent over, of course he posted the link right here, but it's been deleted because it's only live for like a few hours. So then this is pretty much it. And uh, so he was like, hey, how was the promo? I was like, hey, I got one sale. Um, but then it was uh, like live for uh, about 20 hours. 
so far, but generally you get the most sales within the first couple of hours uh, of them posting. So this is one thing, one important thing they have to, that you have to remember. Uh, most of the sales that you get will be within the first one or two hours of the influencer posting it to their profile. All right. So if you can get somebody somebody's rate down uh, for not a full day and you can basically be like, hey, um, would you rather like instead of a full day, would you rather post it for only two hours and I'll pay you like five bucks or something. All right, so you can be like that. But of course, the rate will depend on influencer to influencer. You basically want to get in touch with them and find out their rate and then negotiate with them as much as possible. All right, so this is one way of approaching this entire thing. There is a completely different method, which is about using affiliate marketing uh, with your Instagram influencers, where you can basically pay them a commission so that you don't pay them upfront money, but it does require a lot of work in getting people to actually accept your um, your proposal of promoting your products just for an affiliate commission. But this is also a strategy that a lot of people use. I might cover this in a future video as well. So here's something interesting that's happening here. We have covered a lot of things in the video. So I want to really just quickly. Um, all right. So first off, I just hope that this was all informative for you guys. And I've given you like the basic crux of how you can go about uh, finding influencers, contacting them and basically, um, just closing a deal with them so that uh, you can start getting those influencer sales. There are all these awesome, awesome hashtags, awesome, awesome people out there. Just so, so many people out there in so, so many niches. You have absolutely no idea. And you can literally just click on uh, search and find out just so many people. So this is uh, an awesome way of finding these uh, people and then contacting them and getting them to promote your product. Um, I do hope this was helpful. Uh, in the next video, we're actually going to cover some awesome ways of of uh, promoting Black Friday because Black Friday is coming up in a couple of days. Um, the next video goes live, I believe, Thursday night, 8 p.m. And Friday is when the Black Friday promo begins. So I'll be giving you some awesome tips and tricks to get started with your Black Friday promo in the next video. All right. We'll also be continuing this series on Instagram influencer marketing in future sessions. So uh, keep a watch for that. It was exciting. I had an awesome time uh, teaching you guys about this shout marketing concept and about finding all these influencers. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, here's something you have to do. Make sure you just give me that thumbs up right below this video and make sure you also are subscribed to the Flying Star online channel. If you're not subscribed, come on guys, we are taking things differently. We are building up awesome businesses and we are all doing it um, with a transparent outlook. Um, and basically teaching you while we're building my businesses up as well. All right, so make sure you subscribe to the Flying Start online channel. Give me the thumbs up and comment hashtag Ritho Tribe. Uh, if you found value in this, I want to look at your comment below and respond to that. Awesome. It's been amazing. Thank you so much, guys. I'll be seeing you in episode number six.